morning guys welcome back to another one I'm uh, going to another hunt again it's uh, Saturday November the 20th uh, it's been exactly a week since the opener of rifle season I've been working all week I've had no time to go out so I haven't hunted since the last video that I posted which was the opening day opening weekend and uh, I can already tell that there's uh, not that many people out like there was last weekend. Uh, last weekend, you couldn't drive one mile without passing uh, three or four or five hunters, you know, on these back roads that usually no one ever drives. And uh, now it's just, uh, it's empty again, which is uh, not surprising at all. You know, a lot of people just rifle hunt and, and they'll hunt only just that opening weekend. You can definitely see a big difference in the in traffic that's for sure gas stations are not as full uh, right now but there are some cars people are still hunting it's still rifle season so a lot of people that haven't filled their tags uh, throughout the week or from opening day a week ago you know, they're out trying to get them um, I'm going back to that same spot not the same spot but I'm going back to the same uh, property that I had permission to hunt on uh, this landowner has been very uh, gracious with letting uh, me hunt on this property quite a bit this past season uh, he's got plenty of deer on it uh, I've seen plenty of deer uh, during uh, early season during both season but I just couldn't make any, anything happen because the deer were either too far out of range so there's plenty of deer on this property a lot of does um, I think there's a one or two bucks left well I, I shouldn't say left but that he's still getting on camera um, he's got I think a nice eight point or a nine point um, that showed up on the property I think the day or second day after the opening day uh, Which was last Saturday, so he showed up a couple days later, so I'm hoping he's still around um, I'm going to be sitting in a different uh, blind on a different part of the property um, in this specific blind that I'm going to uh, It's kind of like It's tucked in right next to a huge cedar thicket, which is where the deer bed in and uh, it's got uh, a clover food plot planted in there and it's kind of like these uh, if you if they're like travel corridors so it's kind of like a I guess you want to call it like a hidey uh, food plot and the deer use those travel corridors to go f you know to from from uh, bedding area to bedding area or maybe we'll see um, bucks cruising maybe looking for a doe I'm hoping that uh, that eight eight points gonna be cruising looking for a doe and he steps out into one of my shooting lanes so that spot's got these shooting lanes kind of cut out um, and they're just kind of like little travel corridors and they got that clover and brassica planted uh, in those travel areas so I'm hoping deer are gonna stop by get get a little bite to eat and continue going and that's when I have time to shoot them you know so I'm getting real close uh, to the to the place it's uh, 5.05 right now. I had a really uh, kind of a rough start this morning. I'm tired. I mean, I just, I did not want to wake up. My alarm went off for about 30 minutes. I set up my alarm at 3 and uh, 3.30 at 3.35, I think I got out of bed. I'm just tired. I've been working a lot and uh, very physical labor this past week. So definitely not getting enough sleep as I should be getting, but it's all worth it. Those of you that hunt, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a grind, guys. It's it really is. So, I'm uh, I'm at the spot now. I'm pulling in. I'm gonna set up. Uh, I'm gonna give it some time. It's still a little bit too early, um, but then I'm gonna walk in slowly to the blind because it's uh, I don't know how exactly how much it is. It's probably five six hundred. Probably five hundred yards from the truck back to that spot. So um, we'll see if we can't make anything happen, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. And we'll see you in the blind.
it's been about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes since I shot that doe. I believe I shot it. I don't know for sure. Again, I'm, I ran into another uh, situation where I shoot it, and I don't know if it fell right away or if it ran away or not, because if it did fall, I fell into some high brush. Um, as soon as I shot, the camera moved, and I couldn't, I couldn't see if I shot it or not. Just waiting it out. Um, it's only, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. I'm gonna sit here for quite a while. So, I'll put a buckle step out. Um, I'll see when I get there. I'll walk up to where I shot her. If I don't see anything for a few hours eventually, I'll uh, walk up to where I shot her. She was about 50 yards away. And I'm, like I said, I don't know if I shot her or not. The recoil from the gun moved the camera. Uh, either I hit it with my finger. shots again you just don't know if you hit them or not so I got squirrels running around all, all around me making noise uh, it's making it sound like there's deer walking there was three does that came running out behind me about 50 yards and the mama was following so there's four does and I don't know if I shot the mom or I shot one of the fawns it was a doe for sure and then actually I had a, a spike show up right after that squirrels all around me. Squirrels are actually making a fit right now. I don't know what they're making a fit at. Probably saw me or something. I don't know. I'm inside this blind. Box blind. And uh, I'll show you my shooting lanes. So this is the blind that I'm in. I got this uh, big old shooting lane here and it's planted here with clover and uh, brassica. And this is a ma major deer trail running through here. Then I got a patch of woods. And I got another opening right here. And actually the sun's coming up, you can see it. Then if you walk, go over here, I got this whole opening right here. And that's another uh, opening right there. That deer come from the, from the field out that way. And then I got the, I got an access right here. That's where I actually walked in from. Uh, there was wind in the morning, but now it died down. And I don't know what it's doing. I think thermals are rising. The sun's coming up, so this is my box blind. Most of the major buck traffic has been down this little corridor, and uh, it's kind of like a little, uh, like a hidey food plot. It's hiding away from, uh, there's another food plot way out there, a couple hundred yards. So they stop here, get a bite to eat, and then they head on that way. So we'll see if anything comes through here today. You just hit him with the tanks, and then you wait. <laughs>
Okay, so it's been about two hours since I've shot that doe. Or at least I think I shot it. I'm gonna go out right now and walk up to where it was and see if I see if I shot. Right here just behind the blind this is where I had those three does cross over and the mama so actually four does came running through here through this uh, cedar thicket and I shot her or I shot the shot way up there I'm gonna see if I missed her or not Okay, right here is where she was standing. Look at all that blood. I definitely shot her. Big ol' looks, looks kind of clumpy. Definitely shot her for sure. No trail going this way. Look at that blood on that tree there. Going this way. More blood here. More blood over here. Down here. Right over here. Oh, I see her laying right there. So I definitely did hit her. There she is. Not a bad doe. That's the entrance. Oh yeah, I got definitely double longed her, that's for sure. She was standing facing this way when I shot her. So, I definitely got her. I uh, wasn't sure about the shot because when I shot, the, the camera moved and I guess she took off running. From where I shot her and where she made it, it's probably less than 20 yards. Didn't go 20. <laughs> so... That uh, deer season XP, the new ammo that I'm using, is uh, definitely doing quick work of uh, hunting season. That's the uh, second deer I've dropped two week, two week, two weekends in a row. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's a button buck. What the heck? That's that's uh, that's the second button buck that I've killed. I mean, you just you never know. But wow. I shot a but button buck last week thinking it was a doe and thinking this is a doe shot it's a button buck again but this one's a little bit bigger than the one I shot last week but you can't tell until, until I bent over right now and I could see these little little points right here I mean they're small <laughs> bent over. That's the exit right there. So I definitely uh, double lunged them for sure. Wow. Got a bunch of blood oozing out. See how it's bubbling? That means it's deflating. That's, that's just funny that it's button bug again. Not that it makes any difference. It counts as a doe here in Missouri, but it's interesting. Definitely was coughing up blood out of his mouth though. But yeah, I made it less than 20 yards. Right over there. Right over there is where I shot him. 
here's where he ended up. I mean, it's 20 yards and the blind's just right over there down the hill, so. Yeah, well, I'm gonna uh, pack up my stuff, start getting it out, and I'm gonna either drag it out or I'm gonna see if the, uh, the homeowner can get his tractor going. I'm definitely pretty happy with uh, this new ammo that I'm using. I dropped the button buck that I shot last week, and I dropped this one, I mean, within 15 yards. I mean, I did, I did get a good shot, good vital shot. Almost guaranteed that I got double long because the shot was perfect. And it, it dropped him. I mean, he, you've seen that blood trail. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty thick blood trail. So I'm pretty happy with this uh, new ammunition that I've been using. I've noticed that they are uh, dropping deer a lot quicker than just your standard soft point. Every time that I uh, rifle hunted, I usually just bought myself just some regular like 150 grain or 180 grain uh, soft points because soft points they uh, they open up on impact like a mushroom shape and uh, I was a little weary about this actually I heard all this hype about this um, deer season XB Winchester ammunition that uh, people are using and I figured I'll try it and I showed it in the last video um, it's got that plastic tip so I was a little weary about it but <laughs> I've seen nothing but great damage, and it's dropping deer quick. Now, of course, these are button bucks. They're smaller than like a big buck. I'm sure it'd be the same concept as uh, on a big deer, as like a doe or something like that, or it doesn't matter what kind of deer. But this uh, 30 out six is uh, definitely a great gun. I've been doing a lot of damage with it. It's uh, it's just a cheap. It's just a cheap old Remington uh, 30-06, it's a 770 model. I bought this gun when I was like a little kid. I saved up some money and I bought it. And I've been using it ever since. I mean, I'm 25 now. And I got it when I was like 13 or something like that. <laughs> so it's been what, 12 years that I've been hunting with it. So it's uh, definitely a good gun. It's a, it's a cheap gun, for like 300 bucks. But definitely does the damage. You don't need something fancy to kill deer. I mean a 22 would kill a deer but <laughs> definitely illegal, highly illegal and it probably would just wound it more than anything. So, okay, I'm back at the blind here. I uh, picked up my picked up my jet sled here and my gun I'm gonna try to attempt to take a uh, solo picture. This jet sled is pretty legit though. I bought it a few months ago in the summer <clears throat> it's specifically made for ice fishing, but I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos on people dragging deer out with these things, specifically uh, a guy named Jason Sam Kowiak. I give all the credit to him, and uh, this is going to be actually my first deer that I'm going to put in here. Um, the last deer that I shot last week, I actually had the homeowner use his tractor. So this one I'm going to have to pull out myself, which is fine. That's the way I've been doing it my whole life. But uh got my I uh, actually undressed a little bit I took my bibs off took my heavy coat off uh, put my orange back on because you just never know what kind of an idiot might be trespassing even though it's private property but you just never know okay and drag her out this way deer I shots up there he ran a little bit this way so I'm gonna drag him out look at that scrape Licking branch. Oh, it's actually a made licking branch. And a scrape. This deer that I shot is actually up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna gut it and drag it out here probably. Now, the hard part is attempting to set this camcorder up so I can take a picture with this thing. Should, shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh, got them all field dressed. I uh, did not hit the lung 
but I uh, double lunged him, and boy, did that bullet do some damage. I mean, it completely destroyed the lungs. I mean, it made such a massive hole. It looks like it expanded real quick inside his cavity. So, definitely really happy with these bullets. I know I keep talking about them, but uh, they can make a difference, you know. If you get a bad shot on a deer, um, a deer season XP could be, you know, the, the difference in uh, actually finding the deer or not, you know. If, even if you get like a stomach shot or something, it's going to kill it. Got my knife in the bag. This is getting all loaded up. Okay. Couple days. There it is. I mean, yeah, I'm pulling downhill a little bit right now, but boy, does this jet sled really make a difference. I've always grown up dragging deer out my hand, using uh, just my hands, or if it was a buck, I'd grab them by the horns, or actually, I used one time with one of those harnesses with the ropes. Those aren't bad either, but it's not nearly as nice as this right here. I mean, this is as easy as it gets when it comes to dragging deer out, besides using a skid loader or something like that. This is nice. truck now it's still pretty hard I mean it's still a workout nothing hard about it it's just dragging it <coughs> so it's still a workout but definitely a lot easier than just dragging it with your hands or dragging it on the ground I think it causes more friction and makes it a lot harder to drag okay so usually Supposed to take two two by fours. That's why I have them here. Put them on this ramp. And you drag the jet sled up. But I feel like I don't want to mess with those two by fours right now. I have to move all my stuff. So I think I can get this guy on with my hands. I've been working out lately, it's mainly here. Thanksgiving's coming up. I'm gonna be working out in this area a lot more. So I think I can do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. No problem. Well. Look at that. Easy. Super easy. And the super nice thing about it is, another factor with these jet sleds, all the blood, all the hair is contained in the container. None of my other stuff, my gun, my nothing's getting dirty. Used to be I'll throw it in and then I have to wash everything out and it just got so annoying because I would kill a lot of deer usually every year. So it's just a process of redoing it all the time. So here, just loaded them up. I'm gonna take them down to uh, meat processing. And uh, once I drop them off, I just pull this pull this uh, jet sled out and then I clean it and that's it and I throw my stuff back in usually my stand is in there it's actually inside right now but um, usually my stand and sticks are all in there so it's just kind of you can use it as storage transportation you can do whatever you want with it it's just a perfect all-around tool I'm hoping the meat processing place won't be too busy I mean it is a Saturday and it is rifle season so there's a big chance that there might be a line there uh, I think there was like 90,000 deer killed in the state of Missouri um, for the whole month of November and that's the 20th of November today so last I heard that meat processing place is uh, pretty backed up and they're pretty busy so 
we'll see. It might take two, three weeks before this deer comes back, which is fine with me. I can wait as long as they can take them because a lot of places are so full they just they don't take uh, deer anymore and they don't want to take orders. So, but usually this place is pretty good. They got uh, extra coolers, extra trailers. So I think it should be good. We'll see when we get there, I guess. All right, well, I just dropped off that deer at the uh, deer processor. That place is uh, packing. It's uh, pretty busy. I had to stand in line for like 15 minutes before I could get in, which is not the worst that I've seen in there. Uh, I've seen it where people have been standing in line for an hour just to get their deer taken in. Usually that happens on that first uh, weekend of rifle season but this is the second one so things are starting to kind of slowly die down i did see some nice bucks though uh at the processor people are shooting some pretty nice two and three year olds you know i didn't see anything super crazy big but pretty nice deer uh i definitely shoot one of those if i had the chance i still have a buck tag to fill with my rifle if i don't do it for uh if i don't do it with this rifle season then uh, uh i'll try to get it uh during black powder season I'm not gonna hunt anymore today, so this concludes my uh, my day of uh, hunting. I had um, I have some time off next week. I'm gonna be hunting a lot, so uh, this concludes my day today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's nothing special, just kind of like my vlog on uh, what's like to hunt, you know. So uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or whatever you want to do. Peace.